Hey guys, it's Mrs. Nicholas here. I wanted to show you some of the stuff that came with the tower garden that we have. Um, I was just taking some things out of the boxes and here's some of these things. These are little containers to hold plants once the seeds get um, germinated and they're big enough to go into our tower system. And this is called a germination tray. It has this stuff in here. These kind of look like those little soil containers that we've used in the past. But this is something called rock wool, and it's an all natural-ish sort of substance. This is made from heating um, certain kinds of volcanic rock really, 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 really hot, and then they kind of spin it like cotton candy, and it makes this almost like a wool texture. And so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna soak these in water for about a half an hour, and then we will put our seeds down inside of these little holes. And here's the seeds that came with it. And it tells us that we're gonna need to add this stuff to the top of it. This is called vermiculite. Um, and the reason that we add the vermiculite to the top of this is because if we put our little seed down in here and we just let it sprout, the sprouting process is actually sort of explosive when the seed kind of breaks out of its little seed pod. And so what they find is if you don't put something on top of it, this, the germinated seed will not be where you put it. And so the, the vermiculite keeps it there. So that's what these are. So here's our starter seeds. I haven't even opened these up yet. So let's figure out what's inside of here. Oh, so we have rainbow chard, arugula. These are both greens that you can use. This one's better in salads. It's kind of spicy. Gourmet lettuce, bib lettuce. This is one of my favorites. Sweet basil and kale. So those are what we have for seeds that they've provided. And there's some information on the back of these to kind of help us to know a little bit more information about how we can use these. But I think for some of us that are gonna be doing um, some experiments, we'll do kind of some comparisons um, and that'll be, that'll be coming up later. So I think what we will do is just our basic lettuce. Um, I think we'll do the bib. So we'll start, I'm gonna start these seeds actually today. So I'm gonna get these soaking and then we'll put our seeds in here in just a little bit. But I'm gonna fill this just with some water and let these start to soak. Oh. And that's holding a lot of water. All right, we're just gonna do one. Okay, then the other thing that we need to do is to work with our pH for the water and my dog's getting all excited here. So this is a pH testing kit, and some of you guys may have to use a pH test kit for other things in your life. Um, sometimes if you have a pool, that's something that you need to do is test the pH of the water. Um, so as you can see here, there's this little sheet that's got some coloration on it and it shows us on one side low pH going up to higher pH. And our goal is to have our water to be kind of in this green area once we test the pH. And so I'm gonna read the directions on here. It says to fill our test bottle with five milliliters of water and then add five drops of our testing solution. So I'm gonna put five milliliters of this water here. So here's five milliliters of water, and it wants us to add five drops of our testing solution. So this is testing solution here, and it looks kind of red, if you can see that. So I'm going to add one, two, three, four, five drops. So I tested our pH, and it's this kind of aqua-ish color. And when I put it down here on my my pH tester, 
it shows that our pH for my water at home is about seven and a half, which is a little higher than what we want to have it for our hydroponic system. So when I bring water to school from here, I will need to add the pH uh, solution that will bring the pH down to a, an acceptable level. So I'm going to put this stuff back away so that it's ready to go for school because we'll need to continue to test the pH of our water to keep everything uh, healthy and happy inside of our system. Okay. So this has been soaking for a little bit. And if you look down in here, this is really saturated. Um, it's kind of surprising how, how much water is able to soak into that. So I'm thinking it might be fun to do most of these with the vermiculite on top, but to leave just a couple without vermiculite and see what actually happens because, I mean, if we're going to test these things out, we should know why do we actually need the vermiculite. Let's see what happens if we don't do it the way that they say. So I'm gonna put, it says to put several seeds in each one of these little openings. And if you see here, these are what the bib lettuce seeds look like, pretty similar to the lettuce seeds that we started at school. And I'm gonna take, there's three seeds in that one. And I'm just gonna put seeds in each one of these. All right, so these have had vermiculite added to them. You can kind of see down in each one of these. And then these top two up here on the left, these two, I left them just without. So there's seeds down in there that are kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can get it to focus a little better on that. So there's seeds down in there that are very hard to see. And we'll see what happens when they, when they germinate. So each one of the rest of these has vermiculate on top to kind of keep the seed in place. So one important part of our process here is documenting what we're doing. So I'm just going to write on, on my note here that we planted bib lettuce and there were 21 spots. We did 19 of those spots with vermiculite. And 21 spots with seeds. And today's date is February 15th. So 2, 15, 21. And it's good for us to have that documentation so that in a few days, these are supposed to germinate within two to four days. And so, in two to four days, I need to know what the date was when I put this stuff in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tape this on here so that it doesn't get lost. And then I wanted to show you guys a couple of cool things from this book. So this is the book that came with that grow tower. And ideally when we have things up and running, it will look something like this. So it suggests that we do what I just did, soak our, our rock wool, add our seeds, we'll need to water them, put them in a, a sunny spot, and then in one to three weeks, these will be ready to transplant. Essentially, what I will do with your help is to take each one of these little cubes and tuck it in one of these and put it inside of those openings in the, uh, the grow tower. So there was one other page that I wanted to show you before we're done. Look how cool that looks. So hopefully we will have lettuce growing um, very soon. So the, the dates on this, it says two to four days for germination. And then we should move these to the tower when the plant is one to two inches tall. And then after that, we can harvest them within three weeks. So.
so here's hoping that three weeks from a couple weeks from now <laughs> once these guys get into the the tower system they'll be all the way ready to go so we'll see how that goes and as long as our experiments go well that should work i hope you guys have enjoyed this talk to you soon